In this video, we're going to be applying what we learned in unit conversions to calculate properties. Specifically, in this one, we're going to be looking at density. If we look at a simple density problem, a metal bar was found in the lab. The metal bar is either aluminum, chromium, magnesium, or tin. You measure the mass of the metal bar to be 37.0 grams and the volume to be 0.00508 liters. Which metal is the metal bar made from? It also gives us a table where we see metal and density. Aluminum, 2.712 grams per milliliter. Chromium, 7.190 grams per milliliter. Magnesium, 1.738 grams per milliliter. And tin, 7.280 grams per milliliter. If we analyze our problem, we can see that the question is actually asking for the metal. We also know that it's giving us a mass of 37.0 grams and a volume of 0 0.0508 liters. The table is using the standard quantity for density in grams per milliliter. If we think about density, density is mass over volume. In this case, we have 37.0 grams and the volume is 0 0.00508 liters. But looking at the chart, we know that we're going to be looking for an answer that is in grams per milliliter. Therefore, we're going to have to convert liters into milliliters. For that, we know that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. If we do the calculation on this, we'll come up with a number of 7.2834 grams per milliliter. Let's stop there and take a look at our numbers in the calculation. We have 37.0 grams. That means we have three significant figures. If we look at 0.00508 liters, we also have three significant figures figures. Therefore, the most accurate answer, based on the numbers that are given to us, is not 7.2834 grams per milliliter, but 7.28 grams per milliliter. That's one way to calculate this. We could have also converted liters into milliliters first. Let's take a quick look at that. We know that we're going to have to be using milliliters, so we can start with our liters and convert that into milliliters before we actually start the problem. So we take our value, liters, and convert that by using one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters, and we'll end up with 5.08 milliliters. We can then, to calculate the density, take 37.0 grams and divide it by 5.08 milliliters to give us 7.28 grams per milliliter. Don't stop there. That's not the answer. We need to take this number and compare it to our density chart. The question did not ask for the density of the metal bar, but the metal that the metal bar was made from. This is a very common mistake. Make sure you answer the question. The question was asking for the metal. Now what we need to do is take this density and compare it to our chart. When we do that comparison, we see that 7.28 grams per milliliter is equal to the density of 10, 7.280. So therefore, the correct answer for this problem is 10. 